I, I always enjoyed helping people and I think it's always, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful to be able to do that, to take care of people. Um, my mom did have cancer, um, so I think I've always really been drawn to just, you know, treating patients the way I, you know, I, I like to see my mom treated and I kind of approach each patient the same way. I always, every time I'm walking into a room, I think to myself, you know, how would they, what are they going through? What is their experience? You know, how can I make this easier for them? Um, you know, the way, you know, I think, you know, we liked when my mom was treated. So I think we, I try to approach things very similarly. You know, we're, we're constantly evolving and developing new ways to, to kill cancer. And I think that's why I was always drawn to it. I think there's really cool stuff that we're doing. I went to school, I did my undergrad actually in New Jersey at, at Monmouth University. And then I uh, did my medical school in Philadelphia. I stayed in Philadelphia for my residency training at Fox Chase Cancer Center. Um, then I also actually did an MBA in Philadelphia at uh, Temple University. When you're starting this journey, it is scary. Patients are devastated. Families are, are devastated. But, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously not an easy thing to go through. But it's amazing the perseverance that people have because, you know, they, they go through radiation treatment, which is a daily treatment. So we get to know these patients really well. We spend every day with them, sometimes for, for two months during their radiation treatment. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's always bittersweet when they finish because, you know, they're done and we're excited for them. Um, but then we also kind of hate saying goodbye because it's like saying goodbye to a friend. But they get through it and when we see them come back for follow-ups, it's always wonderful because almost all of them are doing better and feeling better and their families, we get to know them. So I would tell them, you know, you'll get through it and we'll do whatever we can to get you through it. I have a wonderful wife, I have two beautiful children, so I spend a lot of my time when I'm not working, you know, spending time with the family, which is, which is you know, wonderful and it, and it makes it all worth it. Um, you know, outside of that, I like traveling, you know, with, you know, with COVID, it's, it's, it's a little more challenging. But, you know, maybe some more Europe tours as my kids get bigger would be, would be fun. But it's always nice to just go to a beach and just relax. I, I did always want to be a doctor and I'm thankful I became a doctor because I think the satisfaction you get from, from what we do, especially in oncology, is just so unique. And I don't know if I'd get that anywhere else, you know? Um, it's easy to say now that I'm doing it. Um, you know, maybe, maybe if I was doing something else, I'd say the same thing about that specialty. But truly, I, 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 there's not much else I'd be doing if I wasn't doing this. I really enjoy what I do.